Hi, hello, and welcome to Gaming Across the Universe, the Gaming Across the Universe. I thought that was good. Hi, hello, welcome to Countdown, the beta day 10. We watch Evolve gameplay until the beta comes out. And man, tomorrow, Xbox One players get a taste of Evolve. And on a Friday, it's PC, and on Saturday, it's PlayStation 4. They just released the Behemoth trailer. I actually did a cover on that yesterday, but I'm going to do it again today while we watch some awesome gameplay footage from my time during the alpha. I am playing a Hunter, and if you don't know what Evolve is, Evolve is a cooperative game where four Hunters go against one giant monster, and the monster is player-controlled. Right? So what we're following right now are the monster's footprints, footsteps, um, that's not the monster. There are other monsters within the environment, but those are monsters that are just, you know, regular, kind of like a dog, elephant, cheetah that you see in our world today. Um, you know, but the main monster is intelligent because it's player controlled. So that's what we're going for. So yeah, Behemoth, right? Um, they just released a new monster teaser, a monster called Behemoth, and we saw like a silhouette of it you know, a few months ago, but now we have an idea of what it looks like. If you check out Evolve's page and go to their Behemoth reveal trailer, you can see what it looks like, or you can just go to their forums, or, I'm saying or a lot, you can just go to the recent video I made yesterday called Evolve Behemoth Reveal, and you could see the trailer, the teaser trailer, and a detailed picture of the creature, and sort of my thoughts and it also lists, and I also had the list of abilities, you know. So it's really, really cool. It is. Because this is the strongest monster out there. It's also the biggest they can make. But it won't be the last big monster they ever create. Meaning that that's its, that's its biggest size monster. You know, and by that I mean... Um, Evolve can't make a monster any bigger, like Behemoth. If they do, it changes the gameplay mechanics, and they have to kind of reinvent the every map that they created thus far. You know, they want to create a monster. They want to create monsters that can work in every map they create, going from the first set of maps they create all the way to future DLC maps. You know, you know. So that, so that's why I want to get into people's head it's not it doesn't mean that hey this is the last monster no it is not the last monster it's far from it all right so right now we are trying to search we're looking for this hunt up oh, and we found him is that stage one our trapper just released the dome um he's probably gonna die let's see let's see I'm shielding my friend. I've gone a lot better with Hank. Ah. I can't heal him. Ah. Mo Goliath is attacking me now. Now that monster, that play a player is controlling it. Okay, it's not a... It's not a computer. Now I missed that orbital strike. I was still learning Hank. I apologize. But Horrible Strike would have done greatly. I don't know why that monster. Okay, now the monster is hooked. Okay, if the monster is hooked, usually when I'm the monster player, I turn around and then I kind of like, you know, smash the hooks on me and then and then it releases. Okay, his monster's at stage one. He's not looking too good. His health is like literally halfway down. Let's see if we can kill him. Uh, he's getting away. We should just finish him. Um, right now, he's tranked. I'm in a trank to me. How you know he's tranked is that you see the yellow light outline across his body. And we can see him through walls when he's tranked. But that is wearing off. We do not see him through surfaces anymore. Uh, but we do hear the monster. We do see his footprints. He's trying to run away to gain armor. And how you gain armor is by eating other monsters within the environment. But also, when you eat other monsters, you also re you also fill a meter 
that allows you to evolve. You eat enough monsters, you can evolve to stage 2. Now the monster can only evolve twice. Stage 2, and then he can evolve to stage 3. When he's stage 3, he has the option of destroying a power plant. Right, but he can only destroy the power plant or power relay at stage 3. And that's how he wins the match. He could also win the match by killing all the hunters, by getting them down at the same time. Okay? But he is close by because we do see his health bar. He is low to the tip of the of thy bone. I did a little Shakespeare rhyme. Are thou Arthello are down this. Oh, and I got eaten by a plant. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. Please. Oh. I got mad. I shot at the plant. So always be careful. Okay. Um, we see the sound spikes. Our monster got someone down. I'm trying to get there as quickly as possible. Our person is a... Our trapper died. Now, this is bad. The trapper is in charge of the dome. Right, and, and, and it was that blue sphere that that you saw that kind of caged us all in, and no one can get out. You know, people can come in, but they can't get out. But because our trapper is dead, we no longer have that ability until the timer on the top left runs out. Okay. So when that timer runs out. Our, you know, trapper can, you know, jump right in into the match. Just like in the beginning of the match, we all jumped out of that ship. But guess what? He's going to jump out of that ship in less than two minutes. And our, we just saw the... We just saw the notice that the monster has evolved to stage two. Now, by now, you know, from what I've said, you should have a better understanding of Evolve for all the new players. So I'm going to continue this conversation and talk about behemoth and my thoughts okay okay so as i said behemoth is the fourth monster is and it's labeled as dlc downloadable content so it's a monster you get sometime after evolve you can actually get the monster for free if you pre-order evolve you know right now and the pre-order comes with the monster dlc pack which is really cool and that and that monster dlc pack comes with the you know fourth monster now behemoth is the biggest and strongest mos monster out of the bunch um, he is the monster that has the most armor and health and I'm going to predict the future a little bit it's hard taking down a stage 3 goliath unless unless you know what you're doing it is it is it is quite difficult but it is doable you see me done it before as a hunter. Um, like right now, we might take out this monster. I'm not sure what happens in this match, uh, but we do have him down a bit. Um, you can see our team is communicating below the screen, just you know typing. We don't know where the monster is. This is actually pretty good. He's not leaving any footprints, meaning he is sneaking. When the monster is sneaking, he doesn't leave footprints. Now, I do hear the monster, though. Now our trapper just dropped down out of the space, out of the spaceship, which is cool. The monster just lured us to birds. It's 130 meters away. Now continuing with Behemoth, um, Goliath is strong. We already know that. If you see my previous gameplay footage of me playing as Evolve, I'm one tough beast as Goliath. Okay, that's say playing as Evolve. I mean playing as Goliath. He's he is one tough monster, especially if you know how to use him. Now, now, comp now, compared to Behemoth, Behemoth is the strongest monster and the one that packs a heavier punch. Plus, he's one of the most armor and health. Goliath already has a lot of armor and health, but Behemoth has the most armor and health. A lot of, like I said, I'm going to predict the future a little bit. People are going to say, oh my god, he's overpowered. Um, so, here is how it's balanced in my opinion um oh i actually got the orbital strike so i got a good shot on him um since he is the biggest monster behemoth is the slowest monster like i said lot yesterday he reminds me of a kaiju 
If you do not know what a kaiju is, Google it and you will see Pacific Rim come up in the Google search. It is an awesome movie. I suggest you watch it. Um, it's just a great action movie. Just literally just big monsters going against giant robots. Okay. So in Pacific Rim universe, a kaiju is this big monster from a different you know, dimension. And because they're so big and massive, their, their movements are slow just like behemoth goliath actually gets slower you know like you know like traveling this than when he gets to stage three what makes him fast is his great leaps right but behemoth he cannot jump he cannot leap he cannot fly behemoth can only roll so he's a slow monster overall especially when he's climbing um if you look at the if you look at what turtle rock ha has to say he doesn't, he doesn't move that fast. And if you look at the teaser trailer, he doesn't move that fast as well. You know, he's, he's, kind, of, he's kind of like a roller poly -ole, you know. Um, so he is an easy target to shoot, which is why they gave him a lot of armor and health. So you gotta, you gotta, so you gotta shoot at him continuously in order to get him down, right? And how you balance that? Oh wait! Oh come on! Ah, oh, come on! He's almost dead. Damn it! Anyways, so what was I saying? Oh, I totally forgot. I hate that. Whatever. I'll slide over. So you know. Oh yeah, and how and how they compensate that for him being an easy target is by having a lot of health and armor and by having powerful attacks. Okay. Also, if you see what Behemoth looks like, if, if and if you look at the picture, um, like on their article on Turtle Rock's article about Behemoth, or or if you just go to the, or if you just look at the trailer or, or go to my video, Evolve Behemoth reveal. I do I do a detailed analysis about it. You can see that he has like rocks infused with his flesh, right? So when he rolls, that flesh is not exposed. He's kind of covered like a turtle, almost. You know, kind of like how a turtle goes in his shell. His feet and his head are not exposed, and therefore his flesh is not seen. Kind of like Behemoth, right? Now, now, when he's out of that, you know, rock rolling form, you do see skin. So, Behemoth to me is kind of like that final boss battle in a game like, let's say, Devil May Cry or Zelda, where you can only attack the monster when he exposes his weak point or points. And his weak point slash points are, you know, um, his skin. You know? You know, parts of his skin, or or maybe or maybe that gut that you see in the picture. Like I said, like um, like I said yesterday, um, like like if you look at the concept art, if you look at his stomach, it looks like he has a gut hanging out of his stomach, like his large, his or his small or large intestines. So if you shoot at that, that's going to deal a lot of damage. But you have to be in front of him. But if you're in front of him, that means he could do a lot of powerful attacks, so you have to dodge it. So this monster has weak points throughout his body. You just can't shoot at maybe at the rocky parts of his body because they won't do any damage. Why do I think why why do I think they won't do any damage? Because if he's the slowest monster, right? Let's say you have like give or take 15 to 30 seconds until the no. Like 20 seconds until the hunters drop down when the when the match when the match starts. If Behemoth is slow, as slow as they say, and as slow as they as we see in the reveal trailer, he wasn't running that fast. He wasn't rolling that fast in the reveal trailer actually. If he's that slow, that means that he won't get he won't get far enough away from the hunters at the beginning at the beginning of the match. So let's say they find Behemoth and he's eating. Usually, when you shoot at a monster, you know, as he's eating, they they can't eat when you're when they're being shot at.
but behemoth i think what makes him special i think what what they're going to do with him is is if you're shooting at his back on his back right he won't get damaged and therefore he can continue eating because if he's shooting at um at, at his back most likely you're shooting at the at the at the rocky parts so you have to go in front of him you have to sh you have to beat him face to face in order to do damage so i think that's how they compensate his his you know slowness oh this oh man this monster is looking too evil uh I think we got this. I think we could win this, actually. Uh, oh. So yeah, as hunters are shooting the are shooting behemoth, they can't damage it if they're shooting at its back. They can only damage it if they're in front of him. So if they're shooting at um at um at behemoth's back and he's eating, guess what? He could probably still eat since he's not receiving any damage if the whole part of his back is just full of rocks. Okay, our one of our hunters died. That was the trapper. This monster is doing actually a really good job considering how low his health is. It's just his armor. And he's striking down the right people. Where the ma? Ah, he ran away. Oh, he's right here. Oh man, what's gonna happen? We could do it. We could do it. We can do this. This monster is dead. Okay, I did some damage as my final blow. Oh man, come on, come on, do some damage, Assault. You can do this. Shoot, 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 no, shoot. Yes, we're going, we got this. No, no. No, what? Are you kidding me? We lost that match? Wow. Oh, that was a good, that was a great match. Whoa, that was a close, that was, that was a great match. I can't believe we lost that. That was awesome. Um, but as always, we're going to jump right in, right in again. Yeah, I can't believe we lost that. I do not remember losing. That dude should have died. Okay, okay, whatever. So we're jumping. This is my monster gameplay footage. All I know is that I'm not going to get that low with my health, but... It, but you know, it goes to show the tables can turn easily. You know, it's just man, I did not see that coming. Wow. Okay. So I talked a lot. That was great. Uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to play the beta. Um, you know, if you're what whatever age you are if you're you know in school getting ready i advise you to you know play this game you know when you can you know like i say education comes first but when you can you know play some games and like i said in my previous videos you know learn a lesson you know take my you know take my word for it back in high school two years of my life in high school i just played nothing but video games and i spent the next two years you know, just catching up. So, what was the problem was that I just, the homework kept piling up. I never did it. So when you get home with like one homework, just bam, just do the homework and just get it done the first day. And so you don't have to like worry about that. Oh man, I have like 50 assignments to do in like less than four days, you know? So, you know, I encourage people of all ages, of all, I don't know, whatever major you're in to, you know, play games, have fun, but also do your work, you know, know your priorities, you know, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh man, play games all the time, that would be great, but, you know, pay bills, do your work, and, you know, like that, like, I have friends on Xbox Live, well, back when I was playing Xbox Live, 
who had who had you know like we had jobs and basically had a family and it was so cool because I was friend with, I was friends with, with, with this dad and his wife started playing Xbox Live and I'll play with the whole family and their teenage son it's hilarious so you know games are meant for everyone you know anyone could be a gamer you know but, you know do your work so you don't have to worry about the future anyways that's my life lesson about gaming and you know responsibility uh, I'm not trying to say I'm not better than anyone no, I, I make mistakes I'm not trying to say hey you're wrong for doing this I, I don't want you to think that I'm I don't know I don't know. I don't, I don't want you to think that I'm this know-it-all guy. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm just being, just my opinion. I'm just being honest. So, you know, thank you for listening. And let's talk about Behemoth. I feel like I talked about Behemoth a lot. Uh, what else can you do with Behemoth? Um, okay, let, let me look at the. Let me look at the, um, the abilities again, right? So lava bombs, right? Lava bombs reminds me of a frag grenade, but it's a frag grenade that actually, like, when it hits the ground, it multiplies into other frag grenades. It, 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 it kind of like it kind of breaks into fragments, right? So lava bombs. This monster is like a rock lava type creature. So that means he could summon an elemental power. Similar to Kraken's Thunder ability, you know, Lightning Strike. So if you think so, so, so if we look at a detailed analysis of these monsters, each monster sort of have, sort of have this elemental ability. Goliath has fire. Um, Kraken has lightning. Um, Wraith has teleportation, and Behemoth has lava. So all of these creatures have, are s sort of like, oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know why, I'm just not realizing this. They're, this is like Avatar The Last Airbender or like The Legend of Korra. These are the four, you know, elements. Earth, fire, wind. Wait, earth, fire, water, air. Oh my god, they're just missing a water guy and a wind guy. But that's it. We got we got fire Goliath. We got we got you know fire lightning because you know like through through fire bending you could you know kind of summon and control lightning. I'm a complete nerd. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. What else? Um, fire. Fire. Lightning. Earth. Yeah, Earth is behemoth. Uh. I guess maybe not. But it's close to last Avatar the Last Minute. It's very, very close. Uh, let's see. So Lava Bombs is my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite. Actually, all the li list of abilities that, that I see in front of me are just outstanding. And the way they describe it is funny. Like Fisher, a wave of destruction blast out of Behemoth, fact factor fracturing the terrain and scalding and stunning everything in its path. A wave of destruction blast, plural, more than one blast. That's sort of like multiple nukes happening all at once. That's what it sounds like to me. And it's fracturing the terrain. So does that mean that it does it actually change the map, fracturing the terrain? Maybe not, you know, but maybe it actually has like a dynamic element to it, kind of like they have a dynamic weather system. What if each terrain has like a dynamic change to the map, sort of like with Battlefield 4 and their dynamic map change, you know? Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe it temporarily, you know, changes the map and then it goes back to normal. Kind of like creating a dome for the hunter. You have like mini arenas, you know, like mini arena matches. Oh man, I'm already at stage three. It is awesome. Okay, so let's see. Tongue grab. Behemoth uses his harpoon-like tongue. Now, 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 now. Now look at those choices of words. Harpoon-like tongue. I feel like I feel like a professor right now. Look at these choices of words. Harpoon-like tongue. So, if we look at one of the trappers, 
or like on like kind of like Maggie, she can summon harpoon traps, right? So, you know, if we look at what the harpoon does, it's sort of like you know traps the monster, right? You know, and it kind of like holds them in place, and I guess it literally immediately snatches away the hunter, you know, 43 meters away, and, you know, brings it close. And actually, I think it might be better than rates, than rates abduction ability. Why? Because let's say if you have harpoon traps around the map, right? And if Wraith abducts someone, and then as he's coming back halfway through from its starting abduction position, it can actually get caught in a harpoon trap physically. And so it kind of like goes 200 meters away and then and then its abduction attack like stops halfway because it got caught in a harpoon trap, right? However, with Behemoth, he's not physically abducting anyone. He's abducting them with his tongue. So what, his tongue is going to get trapped in a harpoon? That's not, that's not likely to happen. So that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, a lot of things you can do with Behemoth. Um, rock Wall is my favorite. He creates a large semicircular rock structure that either that that can either trap victims inside Behemoth, maybe like the hunters, especially the hunters, or you know creatures that 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 he wants to kill and isolate for himself, or he can lock himself away and block incoming damage that's coming towards him. You know, incoming damage. Right? So, you can use these set of abilities a number of ways. You know, a number of creative ways. Alright. Oh. Hank. Oh, Hank. You're gonna die. Hank, you poor fool. I cannot wait to play this game on a Friday. Woo! Awesome. Awesome, Goliath wins, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, guys, thank you for watching Countdown the Beta Day 10 Gaming Across the Universe. If you liked the video, liked it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And tell me why in the comments below. Gaming Across the Universe is a, is a show where we play games, we have fun, we go on adventures, we listen to corny jokes, and you don't laugh at them because they're not funny at all. So if you love games, if you love adventures, then subscribe. Um, thank you for watching this episode and thank you for subscribing and liking we're up to 147 subscribers if you fit 147 people in my room that'll be a lot of people um count down the beta day 11 will be out tomorrow until then i'll see you tomorrow guys peace